All right, so the next step is to chemically decontaminate the paint, and you can see this thing is a straight up bleeder. So I'm using the Meguiar's, I got it over there, I'll get the number, the Meguiar's Iron something decon, whatever the heck it's called, D1801 I think. So I spread it all on the paint, I did hit on the glass because the glass is going to get contaminated. Um, all the paint here, I need to get this part because it's a bit dry. Um, you can see it's bleeding on almost every surface here. Uh, on the side it's not so bad, but of course on your flat surfaces like on the top. You can see on the top here, I need to clean these out here with some APC, but you can actually see all the iron contamination on here. He does live up in the, in a, is it Paul's Verdes? So let me hit my bottle here. Um, and I'll show you which one I'm using. Just give me one second. Okay, so I'm using this guy. The Wheel and Paint Iron Decon D1801. I'm almost out. I'm gonna get another one. This thing stinks. Uh, but but by, by far, it's it's the most uh, cost-effective you know, pump you know, sprayer. I'm using a repurposed super degreaser uh, bottle, so uh, it's cost-effective. It's just so cheap. As much as I like Iron X, this thing's uh, is just as effective. Spray this spray nozzle sucks on here. You can actually see all the. I didn't get this mirror here, the glass window. God, this sprayer sucks. It's a Tolco chemical. You can see all the back completely bleeding. So I wet, I wet all the trim. I have to wet after I. Uh, put this down I had enough of this thing uh, here's my Camaro but I just want to show you the, the bleeding effect that we get with the iron remover so we chemically decontaminate after this I'm gonna go ahead and wash it and rinse it off because he actually took it to the car wash uh, before he brought it over to me but like I said I wet all the trim so that you know, the, I know iron remover will stain it because uh, some iron removers will stain uh, you can hit every pretty much everything else uh, so I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit longer uh, you can actually see all the the bleeding effect that we're getting so um, quick update on there on um, where I'm at with the uh, with the FJ a lot of trim painful to clean uh, I got all clean uh, we're going to wash it then we'll do the clean step and then I'm gonna do my test spot so uh, stay tuned for the next update uh, thanks for watching